I'd like to talk about savings actually as a creative. Can we talk right. about that? So you'll, you're going to see me get a little <laughs> nervous. Yeah. You just heaved a huge sigh and stopped making eye contact. Well, yeah, that's going to happen probably more than once because like the, the, to some degree I am better than I used to be, but to some degree I am or have been certainly the person that you're talking about. Uh Oh yeah. Should we go back to horror movies? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, that's even scarier. Okay, fair enough. With you. Most True. people, most people I'm fine and, and <laughs> not with you. Um, but I, it's one, it's like, there's a piece of me that really wants to have this conversation sure. with you because you're, you're kind of talking to me. Uh oh. And then there's the other piece. It's like, Please stop run talking. away. Yes. Abort. <laughs> Abort. Um, so, all right. Savings. Let's yes. do it. So what I found, and I've, have been in this long enough and I've seen the way people approach money is they're terrible at it at first. And we all are terrible about it at mm-hmm. first because they don't, you don't learn how to manage money at all in any of your schooling. Like you just don't That's high true. school, college. That's true. Nobody talks to you about how to do a budget. Mm-hmm. And especially me growing up, I'm 41. I don't mind saying it, but money was really just not something that got talked about at home. Like I had no clue what my parents mortgage was or what my parents made or anything like that because it was just improper to talk about. Yeah. But it meant that I got out of college and I got into the real world and I just had a lack of understanding of anything beyond you get your paycheck, you pay your bills and then you have what's left over. Right. That's it. To do stuff. To do whatever you want to do. And when you're done with that money, you're done with that money and then you get paid again and you start it all over again. again. Right. And then something happens like your car breaks down or you have a major medical thing and you're Mm -hmm. like, oh my gosh, I needed savings for this. So you Mm -hmm. start kind of savings, but like haphazard savings. Mm -hmm. And then that gets depleted and then you get frustrated and you build it up again. But creatives, especially for a long term plan, I don't want to do this until I die. I would like to be able to retire like people with normal day jobs right? or I would like to reach a point where I'm not saving heavily for the future. I can just dial back and right. work less. Work and I want the financial freedom to be able to make decisions not based around the fear of money. Right. You want to do what you want to do. Exactly. And make money for that. Yes. But not because you have to. Right. Okay. Right. So when I got started with my business, I did basically the same thing as everybody else. I sort of lived job to job. And then I realized this is not a good way to live. So I sat down and started analyzing my pricing. And instead of just making sure that my costs were covered, I made sure that I was making a really good profit on Mm -hmm. it. And people are pretty good at that. Mm -hmm. You can get online, watch some classes, figure out how to do that and be profitable. But it's when you take your take home income, what do you do with that? Mm. And I have started, um, I used to put away a set amount every single month. And then I tried to just increase that set amount every single month and every single year. But now I put away a percentage of what I bring in every single week. So So once a week. That's a really different mindset, mm -hmm, right? Yep. I save 15% of the money that comes into my studio. Of the gross. Of the gross. You save 15% of the gross revenue right off the top to savings. Go straight to savings. Hey guys, thanks for watching this conversation presented by White House Custom Color on YouTube. Be sure to check out our other content and click that subscribe button right there. Right. (laughs) Right there. It's there somewhere.